Hi friends, my name is Joy, content creator behind Joyous Serendipity. Here I share travel, food, and lifestyle videos to inspire you to explore, try new things, and appreciate the beauty that surrounds us, either as a solo traveler or with your loved ones. So, whether you're a seasoned traveler or a curious soul, come and join me and together let's discover the world, one destination, one dish, and one unforgettable experience at a time. Today is a special day because we are headed down to Colombia, South America. Yes, it's our first, my first time. Ralph has actually been to Brazil, but this is my first time to go and I'm so excited. Our flight is not till this afternoon at 4.30. We are taking LATAM Airlines and it's a nonstop flight. I heard it's just under four hours to get to Colombia. We are going to go directly to the capital, which is Bogota. We're going to be here for about three days and two nights. Then we're going to fly to Medellin and we will be there for four days and three nights and then back one more night to Colombia on our way back to Florida. Vamos a Colombia. So we are here at Orlando International Airport and inside the club we are priority pass members and it goes with your membership so you can come here. You can order some food, they have some food on the menu or there's a salad bar but you can also get drinks, free drinks, free alcohol, vodka tonic. And there's a shower here and air conditioning, free Wi-Fi, there's a children's area as well. So it's really good. It's our first time to use our pass. So and Ralph and I came uh, and everything was complimentary. So we are just waiting for our flight to, to Bogota. Um, so it's a really nice place. It's pretty big. Smile! <laughs> Muchas gracias por elegir volar con la TAM. Para su seguridad le solicitamos que permanezcan sentados hasta que la señal de cinturón se apague. Emigración. It's a long walk. Thank goodness for walkalators. We have to go through immigration and then have to look for our taxi. It's 
extranjeros colombianos. Good morning, Bogota! We arrived very late last night. We're going to see Bogota for the first time because we arrived at 11 o'clock last night or checked in. So let's go. Ralph is hungry. My first arepas in South America. It yeah. has cheese in it. And it came with this one. I'm assuming this is cheese too. But this is yellow corn. So it is. Here you go. Mm. It's actually good. The cheese is good. I wonder what kind it is. It's kind of sweet though. I don't know if this is the one that's making it sweet. It's but cream. it's good. The white one. Mm -hmm. Have it in sandwiches. It's not a pocket like we're used to. It's good. And? Un cappuccino. Ah, one Valdez. You're good. of gold, right? However, today you are going to learn that El Dorado was never a city of gold. Yes, notice the name of our airport in Bogota? El Dorado. El, El Dorado. Dorado Airport. Because El Dorado was here. It wasn't lost. And it was never a city. So we are now in La Candelaria. We're in the middle of our tour and we are waiting for our chicha. We're going to have a toast for their traditional uh, alcoholic drink, which is called chicha. Corn, sugar cane, water, fermented. That's it. Gracias. Oh, sir. Ladies first. Hold it up. It's alcohol. Yeah. He'll kill it. He'll kill good it. Point. Kill the bacteria. Good point. <laughs> It's a drink from our ancestors. We are going to do it the way they used to do it. Yeah. Right? Whenever our ancestors would gather for drinking or eating, the first thing that they would always do is give thanks to Mother Earth. The word for Mother Earth is Pachamama. 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 So, at the count of three, we're going to raise our caps to the sky, and all together we are going to say, Gracias, Pachamama. Ready? One, two, three. Gracias, Pachamama. And then go for it. Woo! Oh, it's good. Mm. Ah, it's really good. Yeah, exactly, general people. That's a meal, huh? I had to get the last one. Take two. <laughs> Chicha. Okay, so we are now inside um, this market uh, that has a lot of different stuff that they sell. There's the chicheria over here. I think that's where they got our drink that we just had. And then there are cafes, some chocolate stores. Your eyes are heavy with the weight of the world. What's in the life you never could offer? Even if you never flown 
before. You can take a chance and try once. Masado de arroz. ¿Cuánto? Yo voy ¿Tiene cambio para el 20 mil? Sí, señor. Gracias. Y uno de este. ¿Masato? Sí. ¿Te quieres para el muchacho? Oh, it's good. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Oh, con canela. Con canela. Sí, con canela. What does it name? Arepuela. No, ese es arepuela. Arepuela es un masado. 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 So it is a uh, fermented rice with uh, cinnamon on top. So we're going to try this. Oh. It's good, it's good. Yes. It's really good. I really like it. It's a great snack. It's a little bit of sugar. There's some sugar crystals. You can see it. It's delicious. You gotta um, come and get this. So this is Masato Arepuelas. We're going to continue our tour on this street right here. The name of that street is Fano, the Fano Street, or Calle del Embudo. All right? This is the oldest street in the city of Bogotá. It was built by the Spanish towards the early 1600s. To give you an idea, my friends, a lot of the rocks that you're about to step on have been there for more than 400 years. Right? So, we're still, we're about to go into the oldest street here in Bogotá. So I want you to look at the street, the cobblestones. Because a lot of good restaurants all around here. So this is the traditional, traditional barilla de. Colombia. It's their barbecue. It's the best in Bogota. We have arrived to Calle 10 or 10th Street. We are standing on 10th Street in downtown Bogota. It's where all the rich and powerful would live, politicians, industry owners, bank owners, and where the newly formed government of Colombia was placed right after it. At this moment, this is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or the Ministry of Foreign Relations of Colombia. However, guys, this building was the first presidential palace of Colombia. Our liberator, Simon Bolivar, remember him? Mm -hmm. He took office right here. His second in command, Santander, remember him? He took office right here as well. <laughs> the second reason why this little square is very important to us Bogotanians is the building across from it. That building right there is the famous Teatro Colón, or Columbus Theater, or the Opera House of Bogota. continue with our tour 
Um, we just passed by Teatro Colón. This is the oldest and longest running high school in Colombia, the Santa Colombia High School. Under the control of the Catholic Church, so very private, so very, very expensive. Not accessible to any common Colombia. And also, unfortunately, very elite. To give you an idea, 23 Colombian presidents came out of it. Yes, so it's next to power, right? The second building I'm going to show you. Do you guys see that house over there in the background? Oh, house. Mansion. <laughs> right? Colombian yes. in the middle, that is the current presidential palace of Colombia right now. Right? Now we enter the Simón Bolívar Plaza. We have arrived to the Simón Bolívar Plaza or the Simón Bolívar Square. You gotta know guys that the Simón Bolívar Square is the most important square in the whole country, in the whole Colombia. You know why? Because here you find all the powers of Colombian state. Let me show you really quickly. This building right here, for example, is our Congress, our Senate, the two chambers. Right behind this building, I already showed you the presidential palace, right? Towards the west of this plaza, you find the city hall of Bogotá. Towards the east, the whole eastern side, believe it or not, does not belong to Colombia, it belongs to the Catholic Church. And by extension to the Vatican, of course, right? That building right there in the corner, the beautiful building right there is not a church, that is our cathedral. It is the Christ Cathedral of Bogota. It's totally beautiful on the inside and it's open to the public. And finally, towards the north of this plaza, we find the Palace of Justice or the Supreme Court of Colombia. Alright guys? Muy calientito. Con mucho gusto, mi reina. Dietética, si hay promoción, lleguen que se están agotando las dietéticas. Lleguen, lleguen. Pagan cuatro y llevan dos. Lleguen. Últimas de dietéticas. Lleguen, lleguen donde las dietéticas. Si hay promoción. Y delicioso chocolate. Las históricas de Buenas tardes. Pregúntenle cómo y por qué tan baratas. Así es. Las dietéticas. A ver. Muchas gracias. Dios me las bendiga y que estén muy bien. Con mucho gusto. Gracias. Maíz de Colombia. Las típicas colombianas. Las típicas colombianas. La dieta es para muy delicioso. Sabrosa. Sabrosa. Y más que la primera dama de Saque. Ah, sí. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Marina. 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 Muchas gracias. Las típicas deliciosas, típicas chocolates colombianos. Colombiano. The kernels are so big. Mm. They're big. <laughs> we got the pinchos with the potato on top. Oh, it's good. It's really good. It's a different flavor. I don't think they put sweet sugar in it. This time.
El hombre sabía que era estar siempre con quien se llama mejor que él. A man knows always who is better than me. Okay. 
<laughs> so we just finished lunch. We went to Hienda de Cafe. It was really good and uh, very good service. So if you're here at Usaquen for the market, you can have your ajillaco here. It was really good. So now we're gonna just walk some more and see what we can find. We might be able to buy something, I don't know yet. But this is a nice park, as you can see. And there's somebody here who is performing. <laughs> but it's a nice little area. And there's a church, I think, or a university. Gracias. You want that? Yes. Sí, pero me enamoré y es como tengo que vivir en en Colombia. Una libra. Gracias. Agustín. No, gracias. Es caramel. Ah. Leche, arequipe, cheese. Blackberry, cranberry, yes, and cream. And cr oh, <laughs> you go all out. Wow, ¿y cuántos? Cinco mil. Cinco mil. Nice. Hot wine. Vino caliente. Vino caliente. El mejor café de Colombia. Sí, ah, sí. Claro que sí, señora. Vino caliente, malteada en cerveza. Ah, calar coffee. Café delicioso. Café delicioso. Oh, that's nice. Café, panetería allí. Let's look. Flowers. This is fancy. The bread. Our, um, we just requested Uber. We're gonna go back to the hotel for now. We just came from Musaquen. I think it's here. Jansen. Good evening. It's our first eve well, second evening here in Bogota and we came home after Usaquen market and took a nap, well, rested and freshened up and now we're about to head out again um, to just the center of La Candelaria looking for some dinner. So we're ready. It is cold. <laughs> so we are in our jackets because Somehow it is really cold up here. It's we are at 26,000, 2600 meters, no there? We are 2600 meters elevation above sea level. Um, so 
it is chilly. Salchicha. I think this is arepa, salchicha, egg, aguacate, and platano maduro with rice. Oh my god, that's like humongous. <laughs> so we're gonna have to try this one. Let me try this one first. Habichuelas. Oh, the morcilla now. This is my first morcilla, by the way. Hola. Para pagar, dice fichas el número de la mesa. Le da su factura al caballero de la casa. Ah, okay. Gracias. Gracias. Morcilla is blood sauce. It's the first time. My first time. I'm gonna try it with the rice. I don't taste the blood at all. That's actually really good. I noticed that it's not salty. I don't know if that's typical of a Colombian um, food, but I noticed that the food is not salty, which is good, I think. So, okay, I guess we're gonna dig in. Oh, it's got drumstick. Oh, wow. You can just get it nice. from my... Mixed, mixed. Y una vanilla. Sí. You can have 
have one. Come. You only have two. You can eat one. No. Then it's you. No okay. So we got ice cream from. We ordered three. Apparently, we ordered three. <laughs> so we gave the lady the other one. Oh, it's good. It's really good. Continue on the walkway. You can get to sleep in the bed, lying away. Cause I'm not there beside you, keeping you warm and I know. I bet you're cold. You're so damn cold. It never rains in California. The sun is always shining right 